everybody, welcome to another episode of Funk Old Dean. I'm here checking out a little bit of downtown Johnson City. I'm gonna check out, walk around, maybe go into some stores, check out some shops, maybe get some grub and all that here. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of the things that are happening is here in downtown Johnson City is actually under renovation. Uh, so there's a lot of things that are coming, good coming here. And I'm looking forward to each and everything that's gonna be coming, like Diablo's Mexican Bar and Grill, uh, so many places, I don't know what else is coming here except for that. But so far, I just love uh, for towns that are renovating, want to bring some life back into it. Because especially with the whole pandemic, bring a lot of commerce, businesses down here, make it lively, build a community out of this place. Because John City and this whole part of Tennessee is definitely growing on me. So come on, let's go. Let's check this out. Uh, Campbell's. Morals and music, or Campbell's Morals and music. Tune up Johnson City, cornbread. Love a good cornbread, especially with chili. Awesome they got. I don't know the name of the instrument. Strings, bongos, drums. Oh my. Eddie Van Halen's guitar. This here's a practice. So you practice your drums. Also in this location, looks like you got drumsticks, steel guitars, banjos. Seen a lot of actual music, a lot more music stores. A twin ukulele. Got some mandolins. Sitting guitars, violins, it's music sheets, bass guitars, speakers, just all the stuff that they have in here is just awesome and it looks like they actually have where looks like they work on your instruments here too or actually maybe hand build it this this is just amazing this store They've got some keyboards uh, anytime I see a keyboard I just immediately go to Blues Brothers with Ray Charles at the pawn shop. Uh, looks also pretty much, they also, they do instruction, so if you ever wanna come learn. Uh, I've been meaning wanna learn for quite some time, a musical instrument, maybe back in the guitar, or a learned bass. Oh my God. This day reminds me of just Paul McCartney. This, this store is just so amazing and I'm still surprised how many musical stores I see. Uh, and I need to go find out about that Van Halen guitar. This here is actually a new guitar. Uh, Eddie Van Halen line. They're actually recreating as much as they can of Eddie Van Halen's actual guitar. So you can actually see inside here all the guts and all that, what he did. $2,000, you got the Eddie Van Halen logo. Man, he was probably one of my all-time favorite guitarists and sad day that we lost him. But his music still lives on. At this location here called Trek Bicycle Store, it looks like you can rent bikes. They sell e-bikes. I uh, wonder, see how much it is. May have to look it up. Maybe me and Gretchen check it out and show it on here. 
here's one of the multiple entrances here to Founders Park. It's a little walkway. Uh, sit, relax. Have some events. Just sit down and have a picnic. I'm going to show you more. And also, they actually have some uh, sculptures of art along the way. And here is the map of the sculpture exhibition. Uh, definitely let you know what has been leased, permanent, and loan. And also spread out. We're at some of the locations that are on the path, like over here. Over here. Wondering, dealing about what this sun means, because it looks like they got months in certain tiles, then spread throughout. They actually have certain dates that are highlighted, but not in sequential order. Then a 14 right over here. Also throughout Johnson City, we have these plaques in the ground, uh, definitely inspiring, like art is man's nature, nature is God's art, love the artistic vibe and the feel and the good nature of this place. Coming up on our very first sculpture along this path, and also with this walk, it's definitely a good nice lengthy uh, trail. Uh, and you have this very relaxing, slow moving water creek along the side. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this creek before we look at that sculpture. And here is the creek that travels all the way down. Not too sure how far, but I would definitely not think that this would be here in the middle of Johnson City. Our first sculpture it's called tree colony and i definitely get it uh, what it means and also they give you a little description on who gives the email address what it's made out of it's pretty cool i like I so want to drill holes in those. But even though ruin the art, put little birdhouses in there. Nothing to know. Oh my god, it looks like it probably may rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain while I'm on this trail. Oh look at this. Just walking up here, you got some chalk artwork that probably some kids drew. You got a plane, a rainbow with trees, a car. It's pretty neat. I really, really enjoy this. Seems like you get actually a nice, fun, relaxing time here at Founders Park. Also, in the distance, you have looks like so you got some cemetery. Uh, since we've been living here in in Tennessee, I've been noticing a lot of cemeteries. Uh, in fact, one of the jobs that I worked at it was for a call center. Uh, during the training, there were three tombstones out in the front of the property. Uh, I guess when they bought the land. There was much more and they actually had to remove them and move them to another location. But these three, for some reason, they weren't able to get rid of. So it kind of gave the whole location a really, really creepy kind of vibe. Uh, maybe that's the reason why it such has a high turnover. It's like those spirits there, they're pissed. They're trying to sleep and your work is disturbing it. Off in the distance, you can see a little rabbit. He's a little unsure dealing with the fact that, all right, I see you. Just want some food and graze, but you're ruining it for me. Oh, there he is. He's in stranger danger mode. That's all right, buddy. I'm not gonna bother you. I'm just gonna go check out this pathway. If you happen to have a dog, you're walking around. They got these mobile locations for bags to pick it up and dispose of. And here is a little information tip that they pretty much, what's the water level today? So citizen scientists, they want to ask you to collect data, help out. Even actually has a little website, it's pretty much because over by the bridge, they actually have a water measurement that you can see right there 
and have a market if you actually happen to be out here. Should be a help to the scientists in quite all the day. And here we got Founders Park. And one sculpture. It has some lights in it, so this is going to look really awesome. But if you can see, we've got some butterflies, some bugs. I don't know if they are fireflies. And at night, this thing is going to be so lit up at night. I definitely got to come check this out. So far walking around Founders Park has been really neat and we never knew about it until uh, we hung out with our friends Jackie and Baxter. And after eating at Freiburg's, we decided to take a walk and they showed us around a little bit and we did not know about this area. And this is such a nice little relaxing little area and little hidden gem out here in the field. Uh, people have done some LARPing. Uh, uh, some reenactments, whole kind of events that they actually do here on the field. It's such a large piece of property, well kept, and it's filled with art. Uh, some of the art I get, and it's, it's all interpretive, and I think it's really cool the fact that they are showcasing because art hits people differently with each and every one. And there are sculptures I enjoy, and there's sculptures that I just don't get but I still enjoy it nonetheless now this when we first seen it called I want to hug you and those things just look so wrong I do not think of their hugging because it's two separate arms and plus what are those things? What kind of creature are those? Or are they creatures? Or they're a certain kind of organism? This one's a thinker. Another cool thing here that I don't think I've ever seen. If you have an issue with your bike, they have all the tools that you need. If you need to have any need to fix it, repair, you need air. I'm like, it's even got a little stand so far right now. So you need to prop up your bike, you can. I'm not too sure if all parks do this. This is a holy two, this is such a neat concept for to do. All right, now I'm definitely a bit hungry. A uh, place that I'm probably gonna go to, uh, definitely gonna be a Southern Craft Barbecue. Those are too sure I'm in the mood for a good burger. I'm not too sure about Tipton's. Should be a little adventurous to try it out, uh, but at the same time, it is like down here. I know Southern Craft is really good, uh, but who knows? My mind can change by the time I get there. So let's go. There's a lot of walkways in and out, and it's filled with artwork. And that right there, Dr. Nuff so good and i've only seen it so far here it's like sprite and mountain dew had a kid doctor enough sure that is so right barbecue makes me sad. here at the southern plan got seated got a drink coming in arnie palmer this place is really good when it comes to barbecue but Everything's cooked in house, made in house. I hope you'll be going out to get this, to a little bit of the brewery here. Uh, but so far, right now, I'm not too sure what I'm going to order, but it's definitely going to probably be a burger or a sandwich, maybe an appetizer, probably an appetizer. I'm seeing it's a plenty of black pepper bacon that I am eyeballing, or the roasted jalapeno queso. So, we're definitely going to check this out. Now, this is awfully awesome. Give a local dog the fact that we're the bread is baked from. That is so awesome. Right, so for what I picked was starting off with that candied black pepper bacon and I'm gonna get a burnt hand sandwich. 
do something about their burn ends is so good. Probably this is probably my favorite place to get for burn ends. Here's the black pepper candied bacon. Oh, got some salsa. Wow, I'm looking pretty big into this. Oh my, that is so good, so good. And the sweetness of the savory mix in, all mixed in with this salsa. So good, I'm, but I'm definitely gonna get her loaded Todd's, which you recommend next time. But oh my God, these are so addictive. Come on, take it. How can you not like it? No, have it. So good. I'm gonna devour this real quick. I'll be right back. So here at Southern Craft, they sell Old Goat Coffee Roasters, who I saw Gary and Katie over at the Jonesboro Farmer's Market. And so far, that Zambine uh, honey, so far, it has been our favorite heat. And here is the burnt end sandwich. Here is the burnt end sandwich. Look at all that burnt end goodness. And the tots. Came with slaw. I'm so ready to dig this in. This is gonna be messy, but delicious. I gotta take your time. Good spot. Alright. Got the burnt ends. I'm done with eating here at Southern Craft. Really good barbecue food. The staff, the food, even though I didn't get a beer, the beers I've had here are so far top notch. Really good, good flavor. Hits all the notes that you want. And it pairs well with the barbecue that is cooked, solely cooked. I'm just so happy for this place and its location. It's branching off. Uh, there's one in Bristol, which I'm very happy. And one of the good deals to actually get is called the Butcher's Block. It's about $110 but you get all sorts of meats. Uh, you're definitely, if you got more than four people, that's a definitely deal. And if everyone loves all the barbecue meats and all that, that's highly recommend. You get four large sides, also some extra fixings that come with the sauces, with the sides and all that. And they probably have the probably killer wings here. They're naturally just smoked and the seasoning take care of itself. So let's go check a little bit more of uh, downtown Johnson City here. So you got a yoga area and also in downtown where the Founders Park, they also do yoga down there at times. And a lot of these transformers around the hive have some artwork, or in this case, this have actually photos of the old downtown area. Here's an influence, uh, here's a little bit of information. 
Johnson City was known as Little Chicago. Because I think Al Capone used to visit here quite a bit. There's actually a place called Capone's. Okay, I am back. I uh, had such a good time just walking around, checking out the sites, checking out Founders Park, uh, checking out that music store, and also, of course, having lunch at Southern Crafts. Such a good place. Um, just hit the grocery store real quick. I was like on the way home at Food City. And of course, most of the stores, they have Starbucks. Had to get that chocolate cream cold brew. Oh my God, this thing is so darn good. Root and tootin' delicious. If you're ever out, hit Starbucks, get that, or that pineapple paradise. I need to get some Malibu rum and put it in, mix it in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this content. There's another place for you. If you actually want to come down, check out Johnson City. Venture out, check out. There's a lot for this place to see and do uh, for you to check out. Uh, so if you want to see more of this continent, or content, continent, <laughs> uh, give this video a thumbs up subscribe definitely does help and i hope everyone has a great awesome rest of your week stay healthy stay safe never lose that smile love the way it looks on you love you take care bye bye